everywhere. It was just like a, a rain for, I'm like. One year ago, we started telling you about the problems at McDougal Terrace in Durham, from carbon monoxide leaks to serious mold issues. Most people living at the complex were forced to leave right after Christmas last year and had to live in motels for weeks after while improvements were made. New tonight, a woman living at McDougal Terrace called to tell us that she is still dealing with water leaks and problems. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco is digging deeper tonight. Russ, she says the leaks are so bad her family can't even shower and worries that the ceiling could collapse. Imagine not being able to bathe in your own home for days. That's what Latissa Cotton, Davion Delaney, and their seven kids are dealing with at McDougal Terrace. We want to feel like but why are we going on with this pandemic that we have a safe and a good place to stay? Cotton tells me every time she turns on the shower, water cascades into the kitchen below. There's no way that this ceiling, when you cut on the tub, that it should be pouring out water from the tub. Right away. You know what I'm saying? Right away, it's just, as soon as you cut it on, water just start pouring out the ceiling. She noticed the leak on Wednesday and immediately called DHA's 24-7 maintenance line. She tells me someone assured her they would come out and repair it that day, but says no one ever showed. And they didn't try to even come and look at it. Then, on Christmas Day, Cotton okay. says her kids tried He's washing up in the bathroom sink, partner. but that started leaking too. I mean, we already dealing with a lot. We got kids in remote learning, people out of jobs, you know, and then you come with this, the kids can't even take a bath upstairs in the tub, let alone you wash up in the sink. When I called the after hours line with Cotton, this is what we were told. <laughs> Let's give you a call with the EPA. I want to help you out, okay? Okay. And after our call to DHA, Cotton tells me a maintenance person did come out to help fix the problem. However, she says once she ran the bath water again, the problem came back. I did reach out to DHA and am waiting for a response. In Durham, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News. Mackenzie, thanks for that. Let's hope she gets help. Well, the bicycle.